so uh hi this is a short video on react spinners actually i wanted to share about how you can use uh, loading states and uh, probably add a backdrop and uh, a spinner a svg spinner so this library by david who uh, rightfully does a, a really good job of uh, adding all these svg animations for loading states so I'll be sharing how to use them and then you guys can use this library by uh, adding it to your uh, package.json or just installing it using this script. Here is the npm um, site for it. You can just npm i react dash spinners and then let's look at their github. So they have a pretty good uh, documentation as well they have a nice little storybook going on so you can see all their uh, components and then react with them uh, it's really nice because they have all these bar loader they have all these props beat loader size you can override uh, the css and then set your own kind of css change the color uh, there's a hex for it let's say they have a green color let's let let me just try and put it red i guess Awesome. Yeah, good, good. So this is how basically you can change the color and then loading state to true and false and that's how you make the loader appear. There are nice little loader SVG animations. There's grid loader. The hash loader is which I really like a lot. There's Pac-Man loader of course. Really cute. Faster. So I, I just quickly wrapped up a good uh, two two components to just to show you how these two work. I'll show you the site here. So I just toggle the loader, and when I toggle the loader, it sets the value to true, and then the loading state appears. So and here is a data fetching component that fetches data on on click, and then you know provides all this data. You could see the loading state for a few seconds there that that is what it basically does so let's jump onto the code so i have uh, generated this read app the read react app so the first component that we are going to see is it's called spinner component so here uh, we have a spinner component with a few initial props of course and uh, a state loading state um, and of course we can change the color because you could see here this is from the documentation itself you could change the color to black let's say white you know yeah so green you get the idea so um this is a fun little component and on click what it does it it sets the loading to uh, toggles up the loading so currently the initial loading state is true as defined in the prop here and then uh, on changing it it set uh, sets this uh, part of the app to true you can see the loader now moving on to the data fetching component you can see a pretty same logic but here what we are going to do is uh, while while the fetch is currently running and has no response yet the loading state is on and while the loading state is on we can just render the loading component or let's say the loader the spinner uh, let's say we could we wanted to change the beat loader to something else we could see in the library and just change it uh, nice little website going on you can look into let's say grid loader so just change the to grid loader let's let's see all instances of this let's check it in our app you could see the grid loader as well so 
I'll push this code to GitHub as well and put it down in the description so you have a good idea of how this uh, small app works. Or you can also read in the documentation of this uh, library. Nice little library. I did error states as well as data is loaded. The data can be simply viewed here. Well, that's all. Thank you for watching.